Hey, New Hope family. Here's some Monday Devo for you today. We miss you on behalf of all the pastors. We just want to say that we're praying for you. Once again, if you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, whether that be a prayer request or a need, we're here for you guys. Also, just be watching this week because we're going to be putting out some more info about this weekend with Good Friday service and Easter service. We have a lot of amazing things going on for that. So just be sure to stay in tune with all the announcements. Um, we got some fun things planned and we know that God's going to move in an absolutely powerful way, even through video. And so I just want to talk a little bit this morning about uh, worry and anxiety. Um, as I know, during this time, there's a lot of reasons. We have a lot of reasons if we look around to have anxiety or worry. And I'm not talking anxiety in a clinical sense, but just in a fearful sense of, um, I'm constantly worried and thinking about what's going on. And I think worry and anxiety in scripture, we see that these things come from a false and a broken view of what's in our lives, what we can hold, what we have, what we can see, and really what our circumstances are. And, and here's what I mean by that. Everything that we have in this life is from God. The Bible says especially everything good is from God. The things that are gifted to us, your breath, your house, your family, your, your health, or whatever it may be, everything is from God. And so these things are given to us to hold and to hold on to. See, we're given a responsibility with our lives and what we're given to use for God. We're going to use everything, every scenario, every moment for the glory of God. That's our life mission to be reflectors of Jesus through the things that we're, we've been given and we've been blessed by. And, uh, but there's a difference between responsibility of something and control of something. And that's so vital when talking about worry and anxiety. See, we're called to be managers, to be stewards of what we have, not to be owners. We're not owners of it. We don't own anything. God owns these things. Just like Pastor Weaver mentioned with tithing, we talked about other things. We don't, we don't really own our money. You'd say, well, I worked hard for it. Yeah, you did, but it was gifted to you by God. And so we don't, we don't control the things that we have. We don't have that power because we don't own those things. And so a lot of times because we'll get worry or anxiety about life because we confuse responsibility with control. For example, you know, this just with a job or maybe you're in financial uh, anxiety right now and there's some moving parts with coronavirus and that can be so scary and worrisome and cause us to be fearful but when you think about why we're fearing it's because I think deep down it's a sense of we feel like we need to be con in control of the situation we need to be in control of the future in control of what's going on and so therefore we get worried and anxious when in reality we're not in control of any of it because we're not owners of it. Um, we're not even owners of our own life. It says we're gifted this life. And so I know that I, I fear what I can't control and I fear what is unknown, what I can't see. And so that's a recipe in our lives for the, the mistake of thinking that we're actually in control when we're not. And when I lose control of something, which will happen because we're not in control, then I get worried, anxious, and fearful. And God is in control. He is in control. I am not. He is good. He's amazing. He is faithful. I am not. He wants what's best for us. He's so wise. His thoughts and his ways are so much higher and greater than what I, where I am at. And he knows what's best for me more than I know what's best for me. It, it, he knows me more than I know me. And so therefore I can put my trust in him as he is the owner of what's going on around me. He is actually in control, not me. I'm not in control. I'm not the owner. I'm just a manager, a steward. 
and responsible for what he has given me, not in control of. Philippians 4, 6 through 9 says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. It says, don't worry, pray. Don't be anxious. Don't be worried, pray. So when I feel worried or feel anxious, am I sinning? This verse is specifically saying, don't do that. Don't, don't be worried. Don't be anxious. Don't be fearful. While well, I'm looking around my life and going, this is madness right now. So I must be sinning. I must be a horrible sinner because I'm full of unfaithfulness and doubt because I'm afraid or I'm worried. That's not what the verse is actually saying. Th Let me read it to you again. Don't be anxious. Don't be worried. Pray. So God isn't saying in this verse, don't ever feel afraid or feel worried. He says, don't be worried or be anxious or be afraid. Feeling something is very different than being something. Feeling something is so different than being something. I can feel anxious at times, but I'm not going to let me, myself and my life become anxious. Do you get what I'm saying there? And that, that, that stems from a choice of am I, am I choosing to recognize I'm not in control? I give that up. I recognize my place and I recognize God's place. That will say, then I will have times where I'm afraid, I'm anxious and I'm worried. Yes, but I'm not going to choose to become those things. I'm not going to become and let my life become anxious, become worried because I'm going to pray and praying is just recognizing and going to God for help because we recognize he's the one that actually can help because he's the one that's in charge and in control. And so I can choose to, to, to pray to God who can do something about it, or I can choose to pray to my worry or anxiety. That's how I become anxious, is I start praying and talking to my anxiety instead of talking to my God who's in charge. I love that. It says, once I choose to pray to my God, then I'll experience God's peace. And I do those things. And then even fast forward in verse uh, 9, it says, then the God of peace will be with you. God promises that he'll give you peace, but he'll also give you himself during this time. So let's pray. Jesus, I pray for anyone that's feeling just a sense of worry, fear, anxiety during this time. We thank you, God, and we recognize and we make the choice right now to decide that you are in control. We recognize that, Jesus, and we're so thankful. Though The scripture says that you hold our whole world in your hand. You are more than able. You are faithful and just and loving to us. We can trust you for the plan. We can trust you for the control. And we, we give that to you, God. We recognize that we're not in control. And I'm thankful for that, Jesus, that you are. God, I pray for anyone, just fill their homes with peace. Would they stop speaking to their worry, stop speaking to their anxiety, God, and start, start praying and speaking to you about those things the one who is in control, the creator, the all-loving one, all-powerful. We thank you, Jesus, that we can commune with you. And we thank you that you don't just give us peace, but you give us yourself. Thank you that you're the provider, the giver, the one who is near us. We thank you, Emmanuel, that you're with us during this time. Would you just continue to fill our lives, fill our hearts with that peace? and that security in you. We praise you, Jesus, in your holy name. Amen. We love you, New Hope family. We're praying for you. Hopefully you're encouraged today. Put your trust in the God who is in control of all things.